Hello everyone, some satellite imagery to look at here of Russia's helicopter base in occupied Berdyansk. It's positioned around the old Berdyansk air base. First, I want to show this image from June. This shows 20 helicopters deployed here. 9 Mi-24s, 5 Car 52s and 13 Car 29 transport aircraft. The reason I wanted to look at this first is because here is the base now. So you can see since then Russia has constructed a number of defensive revetments and ditches and the like inside the base itself, which is quite interesting. Notably, the helicopters are not placed in these as I would expect. You can see the helicopters are still scattered around the runway. Here I can count 21 helicopters in total, which I've highlighted. I would have thought the revetments would have been built in order to protect the helicopters from missile or drone attacks, so if one was hit, the others would be protected, but the helicopters are not inside them. So I wonder if some of these revements are intended for some missile launchers. Maybe an S-300 battery is going to be placed here soon. It could just be the revements aren't ready for helicopters yet. Now here, I've highlighted some more peculiar looking construction going on. These are much thinner than the revements we can see, and not build up on either side to form an earthen wall, which you would expect. These are looking to be holes or tunnels. So, has Russia created an underground network, maybe for the storage of munitions underneath this airfield, with these being the access points? If so, they aren't very well hidden, but it could be these were intended to be hidden at a later date and they're still being constructed, and the satellite imagery just picked it up before. They're very curious. Given the discoloured earth we can see, it certainly looks like quite a lot of earth has been removed in order to make these, so I expect they are quite deep. You can also see a number of these have been built, and I would love to hear your thoughts on what they might be. Let me zoom in on one. So to me, this one definitely looks like it is a tunnel leading underground. Now, if not for ammo storage, could these be air raid bunkers for when the base is attacked by drones for the flight crews and that sort of thing to hide in? Let's check where this is, so it's nearly 100 kilometers from the front lines as seen here. So really, Ukraine is relying on drones, Storm Shadow or Toch Ku to hit this base. Storm Shadow isn't the right sort of weapon to hit an airbase, given the spread of the aircraft here. A Storm Shadow missile would really only destroy one, maybe two helicopters. Storm Shadow's better use against other targets, ammo depots, headquarters, bridges or another Black Sea Fleet ship. Tochkiel? I'm actually not sure how many Ukraine has left. I haven't seen them used for a while, so I think they are all gone, or mainly gone, with a few being held just in case. Now, however, Attackums is on the way, and an Attackums with a cluster warhead would be perfect for this. I expect once Attackums is confirmed as being in country, some of these, maybe all of these helicopters, will be dispersed elsewhere. Given Russia's lack of success in intercepting high Mars rockets and Storm Shadow, I can't see them having any luck intercepting attackums either. So, this base would be very vulnerable to attack. So, that's it for this video. There's not much else to discuss here, but I hope you found it interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again, and take care everybody.